Hello guys, Idris here. Um, yeah, this is going to be my first recorded session and I'm really, really excited about this, uh, to be honest. I'm looking forward to how it's going to turn out. Uh, today, we will be taking a look at the Maven Pizza Challenge. And um, of course, this is the current challenge for Maven Analytics. Uh, if you're not aware, Maven Analytics is uh, a learning platform. You know, uh, they have quite a number of data set um, as well. If you check um, mavenanalytics.io, we have the data playground in the resources, and then you can find a lot of data sets. Um, last month was space missions, and now we are currently on pizza um, place sales. So um, ideally, I recommend Maven Analytics uh, data playground for anyone who is just starting out with uh, analytics and you really need data to practice with. You can download any of the data here for free and try to work on it uh, in creating your portfolio. Any type of data that you want. We have multiple tables, we have single tables and what have you. But today we are focused on uh, Maven Pizza Challenge that is the uh, pizza data set and so we have the description of the challenge here so we're just going to be walking through together um talking this this video is going to be segmented into the business understanding data understanding um, as well as data cleansing um etl process i'll be using power bi of course and then um, the data modeling and then we we'll go over to the visualization so it's the end of this video we will definitely have um, a report to share or a dashboard and you can you can make use of this um, you can submit it if you want you can make modifications to it but ideally this should be for newbies like you're just starting out in your data career and you have you need one or two uh, projects to add to your portfolio this is really the video for you just to get your hand on something so let's take a look at the Maven pizza challenge description Okay, over here it says um, we have just been, you know, contracted as a BI consultant, and then we this is it. We play the role of a BI consultant by Battles Pizza, and so we have been hired to help them improve the operations, and we received the following note. So here is the note. It says welcome, and then they said uh, things are going okay at the store, but there's room for improvement. So they've been collecting the transactional data for the past year and uh, really haven't used it. This is the case for most businesses anyway. So that's where you come in as an analyst. So how you can analyze the data, put together a report that can help them um, drive more sales and work more efficiently. So this is the objectives um, of this analysis. The objective is to drive sales uh, from the report, drive more sales and also work more efficiently. So there are some questions they would like us to answer as an analyst. Uh, what days and times do we tend to be busiest? How many, how many pizzas are we making during peak periods? What are our best and worst selling pizzas? What's our average order value? And how well we are utilizing our sitting capacity if we have 15 tables and 66. Of course, as an analyst, these you would always get requirements like this, but as you work on the data set, you, some things will also pop up and you can include this in your report so um, talking about the data set itself we have four tables um, in the data we have the orders table we have the order details uh, of course with the description here orders tells us the time and the date orders were placed other details tells us um, the different pizza sub with each other um, in the table in the other table and their quantities the pizza table tells us the size and price of each distinct pizza in the other details Table, and then the pizza types tells us um, the types of pizza, including their name, the category, and the list of ingredients here. So, a uh, really, really exciting one if you ask me. So, we're just going to go over to download the data set. And you can download, just as I showed you earlier, in the data playground here. You can just click on download, CSV, and you would um, have it. So, I will just go over to download. So, here are the Four data sets. So we have the order details table, um, we have the orders table, we have the pizzas, and we have the pizza types. So we can see in the order details here are the fields. We have the order details ID, the order ID, pizza ID, the quantity, and the orders we have order ID, the date time, 
the pizzas we have the pizza id pizza type id size price and of course the pizza types we have the pizza type id name category ingredient just as we saw it in the description from here you should get a sense of how best to model this data of course we can we don't have to do that right now we'll do that in the modeling section but it's important to kind of like identify so um, I would just document um, based on what I see here I can confirm for sure that we would need to model this order table uh, with this one so uh, the order table will be modeled with the other details because we can see that this other ID here we can just take a look um, I expect it to be uh, like distinct right because it just contain each order that we have in uh, our database so and then the other details id we can see here that we have duplicates of the other id so it's, it's going to be like a one to many kind of relationship don't worry uh when we get to the model section we would definitely work more on that so what we just need to do here after investigating the data and having a sense of what it's all about um we need to just document um our objectives and then the metrics we will need to get these objectives okay so we have the business goals the objectives and um, i have it here in the table usually i, I do this um, just to highlight my uh, objectives so here we have the first one is to increase revenue we saw it in the description and we'll be needing the total revenue metrics we need to calculate that with dax of course in uh, power bi because we'll be using Power BI. If you'll be using Tableau, you uh, do that with uh, in, in Tableau. If you'll be using Excel, of course, you can use Excel calculation. So you can always get this uh, calculated. And then we'll also look at the month over month revenue change. So there will be year over year because this data is actually just for 2015. So we don't have, we are not able to compare years. So we just have probably month over month change. I'm still going to review this anyways, if it really makes sense uh, to look at it. But yeah, at the detail level, we would have it uh, in the month, year, uh, month, quarter, day, as well as uh, the pizza type category and size. Also, we would look at the orders, the increased orders, um, the total orders, just similar as we have with the revenue. And then talking about productivity, we would look at orders again, uh, but this time with the quarter month day um, such that we would look at the peak periods basically so this one is for the peak periods maybe I should just write something here like this so peak periods so then we can know how to improve the, the, the pro productivity for this period and then we have understanding customers purchase behavior so this was actually given in the description average order value an average order value is like the amount that a customer spend on an order basically the average amount so um, you can know the um, amount that every of your customer are likely to spend on average and this way you can it, it's really uh, a good metrics uh, for business generally it's a good way to see how well you can you know work on your pricing strategy you know how to increase how much customer tend to to spend once they come to your store you know you think of tricks we'll, we'll probably um see something about that maybe later on and then the detail level is uh, the date quarter month and here we have the best and worst selling pizzas we'll be looking at it with respect to orders of course the revenue based on the pizza type the pizza category i'm not so sure if it, we should look at it based on size i mean if this can also be a good one we will check and then the system capacity um this is a bit tricky in my opinion because we don't have details about the size of the tables and all of that but here i believe we'll be using assumptions so uh, we'll try to assume we have the actual number of tables 15 tables and 60 seats so we can assume that that's four seats per table and then we'll also make some assumptions based on the party size because uh, when it comes to restaurant, you need to also know like the size of the people who are coming to your restaurant I mean if they are coming in ones two or three or 
you know bigger than that and that way you can see how well the tables have been optimized so we don't have that data here we'll just have assumptions and then we'll make sure to document uh, the assumptions as we go forward so this wraps up the first video um it's it's my first like i said earlier and um, i think it, it was uh it, it was a nice experience to be honest so um in the next video we'll be talking about extraction transformation and loading so we'll be taking up data into power bi via power query of course and then we'll see based on the metrics and what we need to do we'll see how we can like transform the data to get one or two other uh, fields which will help us in our calculations so i hope you really enjoyed this video and um, catch you in the next one thank you so much and see you soon